Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can take over a work order or untake a work order using code, a web code. So first I will show you. So suppose I go to IW33, okay, and here this is the work order that I want to take over. Okay, so if you see 40053, the system status is released, I want to take over. How can I do that? So in order to do that, first you have to do is you have to go to the table SE16. So I go to SE16 or you can go to SE16N and here you populate AUFK. That's the table. And here, once you populate the table, you populate the work order number. You get the, you execute it here. Okay. Once you execute here, you can find out the object number. So if you scroll down a little, there would be a field OBJNR. Okay. So I'll scroll down, page down. Okay. So this is the object number. So copy this. Okay. So I copy this. Now what I'm going to do is I will go to a function model. Okay. So first thing we have to go to is SE37. So here SE37 and here I will be creating a sequence. Okay. So here what I'm going to do, I'll do execute by test sequence. Okay. And here the first function model I'll put is state status change in turn. And then I'll put a BAPI transaction commit. So these are the two that we are going to execute in a sequence. So here I'll execute. And here what I'm going to do is I'll just populate objnr here okay now in the status i will put i double zero four five that's for the echo order okay the techo status now i'll go back and what i'm going to do is just execute once i execute here i'll just go back and now execute the next one which is in sequence transaction commit once this is done, what we will do, we'll see whether this becomes a tech. Okay. So we'll just click on this. And if, if you notice here, it's tech. Now, suppose there might be a case where you need to untake all this. How can I do that? Okay. So in order to untake all this, okay, I'll just go here. I'll just, just put something. The same thing, function model, I'll go here. We'll go execute and I'll select test sequence. Okay. It's the same thing. Status, status change in turn and BAPI transaction commute and execute. Okay. Now here what I'm going to do is I'll put the object number same. Here, if you notice, I will keep the same thing I0045 and here I will make this inactive as X. Then what I'm going to do is I'll execute and then i execute again now what will go will verify okay so i'll just put test one now i'll go here into the work order this is echo before now i'll go back and if you see now the echo has been done. so this is the way you can by coding you can take as well as unteco a work order this is very very helpful because in every project you have work management or plant maintenance, you will have a requirement to take and unteco or work order through code. So you can use this functionality.